What's up everyone, back for another beer review, and today I'll be reviewing yet another beer from the New Trail Brewing Company, and they're out of Williamsport, Pennsylvania, and this is their saw. So they're calling this one a barrel-aged imperial stout that is brewed with a buzz saw, el tiple a coffee, and lactose. It comes in at 12.5% alcohol by volume. No IBUs listed in time of review. This can is approximately seven months old. And I'm going to give a huge thanks and shout out once again to a very good friend of mine and a viewer of the channel, Justin, for this beer. So big thanks to him. In the description box, I'll post a link to the beer haul video I did that contains all the goodies Justin hooked me up with. And I still can't get over the fact that he gave me an entire case of PA goodness. That's right, 24 beers from Pennsylvania, 11 of which were from a new trail. Now I've reviewed all the hot four beers from them and the two pumpkin ales he gave me. So now we're into the uh, Imperial Stouts and barley wines and everything. And I thought I'd start with this one because it is a bit older, it has coffee in it. So we'll see if that has held up. Now, uh, Buzzsaw is a local coffee roaster in Williamsport and El Tiple is apparently a Colombian coffee. I don't know much about coffee. I'm not a coffee connoisseur, but apparently, uh, it's a uh, Colombian um, coffee. So that's all I know about this one. Like I said, about seven months old. So hopefully the coffee is held up and hasn't turned into that green pepper non-goodness that you try to avoid with coffee beers. And that just went everywhere. Wow. Beautiful thing is that I have paper towels. <laughs> because holy crap, did that literally go everywhere. Wow. Okay. Just do a quick little... Just get everything here. This is a... Oh, that smells awesome. That smells like some kind of like crazy coffee uh, drink you'd get at about, you know, nine in the morning. Anyway, let's give it a pour here. Oh my God. That looks like syrup. Holy shit. Can't really generate a head. Gonna cheat? Yeah, we're gonna cheat a little bit. Gonna cheat. Yeah, we're gonna cheat. Okay, put this over here like that. Now. As far as appearance, I tried to generate a head with a decent pour there at the end. Not happening. Let me give it a, a little swirl here, see if I can generate it. I don't think so. I think this is going to be a little bit undercard based on everything I'm seeing here. Yeah, I can't even generate that. So that's pitch black. Has a little bit of uh, condensation on it. This is right out of my darker beer fridge, which I have turned up to 54 now, just because why not? Um, you know, a lot of times I like to just grab it out of the fridge and instantly review it, not wait, you know, 10, 15 minutes for it to warm up even a little bit more. So this is probably like in the you know mid to high 50s at this point. But yeah, that's pitch black. Um, it had like a like light to, you know, medium brown kind of head to it, color-wise, that is now dissipated to absolutely nothing. Look relatively uh, like soap uh, sudsy into like a like a soda pop, had a fizziness to it. Um, there is sheets of alcohol everywhere. It's 12.5%, but yeah, that plays the role of an barrel-aged imperial coffee stout, more or less. Staining the glass. <laughs> All right, let's get a nose. That smells awesome. <sighs> big barrel, big like peppery bourbon, sweet bourbon. There's vanilla and oak. It's just insane. Still looking for, uh, you know, some of that. <laughs> There's a little bit over here, too, that is already, it's already stained. It. Jesus, like, not fucking around. I'll do it at the end, whatever. It should be fun. I'll wipe it down. There is, there is a nice, but it's like a sweeter coffee. It's like if you get, like, a Starbucks sweeter coffee drink or something like that, right? Or, like, an iced, iced cappuccino with Tim Hortons, like, sweeter, right? It's not, like, full-on, like, black coffee. It's a little bit of like a black cherry into like a, maybe a plum, dark fruits. Big roasted uh, kind of quality to the base Imperial Stout. There's also like uh, a little bit of like caramelized sugars, like caramel and toffee. Maybe butterscotch. Oh, it smells awesome. It just, it smells sweet though. If we're just being honest, it smells sweet. I'm glad it's in this 12 ounce slim, you know, energy drink can. I wouldn't want this in a 16 ounce can, 12, 12 ounces at the max. Yeah, it just, it, there's, there's big chocolate notes too. It almost like has mocha vibes to it. Maybe they could have done without the lactose because I think this is going to be quite sweet. And a lot of times lactose, they do it for, you know, the body and the mouthfeel. But sometimes it's out of control with the sweetness. And I hope that's not the case here. Anyway, let's get into it. Cheers, everybody. Thanks again, Justin. By the way, the coffee doesn't, no green pepper kind of, you know, bell pepper notes, nothing like that. Cheers. It's really good. Really good. 
Is it too sweet? I don't think so. First sip, I don't think it's too sweet. Mm. It's a lot of like brown sugar, caramel, toffee, molasses, like lingering on the palate. All right, another sip. Buying this, a bit thin. 12.5%, probably the barrel uh, did that a little bit. This is like lower side of full body, higher side of medium. 12.5%, I want to see like medium full at the very least, right? It's supposed to be a big beer. And it poured out like syrup. Like you saw me pouring it out. It looked like motor oil. Um, it doesn't have the body of, uh, of that though. A little bit of a syrupy nature to it. Um, just trying to think here, you know, what do I enjoy out of this one? Anyway, thin body, mouthfeel, there's not a lot of carbonation left. Just a little bit. Um, mildly carbonated, definitely undercarbed. It has a soft, smooth kind of feeling to it. Not really creamy. Taste. There's, again, a lot of like roasted malt. There's chocolate. There's definite coffee. It hasn't turned into green pepper. So you get mocha vibes. Um, that's all at the forefront. That caramel toffee, you know, molasses, brown sugar. That actually just doesn't hit me at the front. It actually lingers on the palate. But halfway through the palate is where I get the barrel. It has that peppery bourbon, sweeter bourbon, a little bit of vanilla and oak. So really nice from that standpoint. Uh, it finishes sweet, but not like crazy sweet. There is a nice semi-dry kind of feeling. There's a mild bitterness. So it leans like 60 to 70% to the sweet side of things. In general, though, pretty good. Not amazing, pretty good. 12.5%, um, yeah, hides it relatively well. There's a nice warming in the chest, nothing on the palate, no astringency. Yeah, I think it's pretty good. So uh, I'm, try I'm just trying to think, like, is there anything, like, I'm missing here? I don't think so. Pour a little bit more in. No, I don't think I'm missing anything. Little black cherry plum too underneath everything. What do I want from this to be like top tier amazing? Well, I'd want a little bit more carbonation. I think the sweetness, while not cloying, I think I want a little bit more balance, maybe a little like a firm kind of bitterness. I also think that the coffee, while there and giving me mocha vibes, I, I kind of want a little bit more in my face because I feel like, you know, that's kind of what this beer dictates. Excuse me. Um, yeah, the coffee is, is faded a little bit at seven months, I would say, if I drank this two months old. Maybe it's a different, you know, situation. But, uh, yeah, I mean, you can see me kind of contemplating here. I'm trying to, like, a big barrel like this, try to figure out what I'm tasting. What I'm tasting is a pretty good barrel-aged imperial coffee stout. That's, that's the way I look at it. I can't go super high on this beer, and I didn't anticipate doing so. But uh, we are going to give Saw from new trail i'm going to give that a low 425 we're going to go 4.2 i think that's fair to get into like the four or five range or higher again i need a little bit more carbonation i need the coffee to be a little bit more intense everything else though is nice i like that lingering like it's weird because it's barrel aged and it has coffee in it but the lingering kind of flavor i get is brown sugar caramel toffee molasses like caramelized sugar is a little sweeter but like not over the top it just has that kind of feeling on the back of the palate yeah anyway price point availability i have no idea Justin, uh, if you want to post in the comment section, let me know what you paid for this one. I'd imagine these probably came in four packs, uh, maybe six packs, maybe individual cans. I wouldn't want to pay any more than like, you know, six to seven bucks for that can, preferably. Um, but, you know, I could see it being in the eight to $10 range. And availability is neutral. They get uh, distro in Maryland, uh, PA, uh, probably a couple other states. I don't really know. We don't see them here in Western New York. So if anybody knows, post in the comment section, let me know. If you've had this one before, let me know what you thought about it. Um, yeah, that's it. Huge thanks to Justin. I got two more, I think, from them. I got the Sticky Imperial Porter, which is like maple syrup and something else. And then I have a collaboration of barrel-aged barley wine um, with uh, them and Trogues. And I can't wait to try that. I, I really like Trogues' stuff, and I love barrel-aged barley wine. So we're going to get into them in the next you know, month, probably to six weeks. I got some other stuff from him I still have to uh, drink down. So huge thanks to Justin for this beer. Thanks to everybody stopping by for another beer review here on the Beer Patrol. To the next one. Cheers.